Oh. Are you okay with those? Is, yeah. So this will slowly, slowly, the skin color will even out. Like, the, you know, skin will grow over. Okay. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's, we're gonna be updating you guys about my skin. I got a skin laser removal on my face to remove some heads on my face or tags, you call them. This, I've had it for very while, and when I got pregnant with my son, it got more, and I've been waiting so long to get this off my face because it makes me so comfortable, and now I can finally afford it, and I can get a dermatologist that can help me, so in this video, that's what you're going to be watching. If you don't like to see me getting tortured, it's not that painful, but I know some people are sensitive. If they don't want to watch it, it's fine, but just want to share it with you in the process. And I have the nurse applying the numbing cream on my face so I won't feel the pain more. You're still going to feel the pain. Don't get me wrong because it's my face and your face is very sensitive more than any part of your body. So... You're still gonna feel the pain, but it's not gonna be as bad after the numbing cream. So she put the numbing cream for at least 15 to 30 minutes. So I can wait for the numbing cream to be activated to start working before the nurse comes in. And I was pointing out all over around my eyes for her to see if she can put the numbing cream. But she said, numbing cream is not good for your eyes, so she cannot go around my eyes. So that means the doctor have to take it off without numbing cream. And this procedure for me, I didn't think it was going to be painful. This is after the numbing cream, waiting for it to start to kick in before I got into my surgery. But I think it hurt a little bit. I was like moving and stuff when the doctor was removing my skin tags for me. And... It is the best decision that I've made for myself. If you think you're not comfortable with something and it is fixable, you just do what you have to do. If this was anywhere in the part of my body, I wouldn't be worried to go get it out. It's on my face and this is, I'm pointing it out. I have it all around my eyes and it was very big, but it fall off and I still had some, so I had to do something about it. And this is the time the doctor came in and she was going to start the procedure. I tell you, around my cheeks was a little bit fat. I had a little bit fat on my cheeks, so I couldn't feel it that much, but it hurt. And this is one, and if you want to do it, you just have to know. They tell you they're hurt, so you don't go in expecting that they apply numbing cream, so you're not going to feel nothing. So the doctor went ahead and wiped off a little bit of numbing cream just to laser it off so this is a laser procedure that it goes it's like zip 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 all over your face and when she started doing around my eyes oh my god i feel like jumping i feel like quitting but you have to still go on and it's been like two months since i did it or more than that i am really proud of the decision that i made and i'm gonna be showing you before and after picture and if any updates you want to see i'll show you after now what my face looks like i don't have the blackheads no more and i'm really happy with my skin and i'm still under my acne treatment when you go through this treatment you have to hold on your acne treatment for at least two weeks but i did a week because i healed so beautiful i didn't even expect it to be healed beautiful afterwards my face was blown my face was swelling wherever the lace did it. So I wasn't expecting it to heal faster, but I healed beautiful and it was fast. And this procedure is the time consuming procedure because I had like 50 heads on my face and she only took 30, but she has to take her time, laser it off and let it sit for at least like two minutes. And she would scrape it with a flat, something that i don't even know i had my eyes closed vlogging so i couldn't see what she was doing but every tiny zap i felt every laser tap tap on my back on my face i felt it so it's this is not the end of the world and it is it's not as painful as painful as having a baby i had a baby so i know how it feels so if you think you have blackheads and you're not happy about it 
you can remove it and feel proud in your body. And I am very happy that I did it. You saw that she had the foul scrape in it. Once you scrape it, it's going to be more lighter than my skin. So they advise you to put more sunscreen, more sunscreen, more sunscreen. They gave me a bunch of samples of medicine that I can apply on twice a day to help get rid of the hyperpigmentation because there were spots. It was lighter than my skin, so I had to get it fixed. And she is the same doctor that is treating my acne, so I was very confident in her in this procedure. This is the first ever whatever surgery in this world that i had except for having a baby i had a c-section when i had my older son but like a surgery to fix something on your body fix something this is the first surgery i've ever done and i don't think i'm going beyond this surgery this is what i want to get out of my face and this is me i love how my face looks, my body looks but i'm not so i'm not a person who is more into surgery getting stuff done but this was something important that it needed to be done because it's been bothering the hell out of me i cannot even put on makeup when i put on makeup you can see it sticking out i didn't even know what was going on you see here i was moving because it hurt it was more closer to my under eye and the side of my eye so it hurt really bad but in the process, they're very nice. They tell you like, oh, it's going to be okay. It's not going to hurt here. You know, for you to just have some belief that they're doing a good job. And she is my dermatologist. So I'm very happy, happy, happy. Uh, you, can't, you won't believe how happy I am. And I'm going to be showing you updates on my face now that I don't have the blackheads no more. She said it could come back if it's genetic but it will take years to come back so i don't mind paying the money not getting it removed and in the future if it comes back and i feel like i want to remove it again i'm definitely doing it i'm not big into surgery but this is one thing that i'll do over and over again if it works and it makes me feel confident in my skin i am doing it over and over again i had this video for two months and sometimes you feel less confident when i did this that was the beginning of me starting on my channel so i didn't feel the confident to when i did this was beginning of my channel and i didn't feel confident to post this because i didn't know how people were going to react what judgment people are going to do but now that i'm more into the social media stuff and i know how people really react to people i'm not that worried posting this about how i used to look before so this is a reminder and a video of you if you think you're feeling less about something on your face and if it's removable workable just go for it i'm not trying to encourage people going under surgery or whatever i've never done any knife surgery or whatever except for a c-section that i had to do to bring my baby to life so if you think you are concerned about something on your face look for a dermatologist it took me like two years for me to finally visit my dermatologist because first time i've been there was for acne treatment and then i wanted to have a baby so i had to stop the whole procedure and wait after i had the baby and the baby's uh breastfeeding and i quit breastfeeding so i can get back so i started my acne treatment exactly a month before i got the surgery and let me tell you all the medication are great i know every medication has a side effect but i want to fix my face i want to make sure i feel more confident in my face and whatever it takes to do with as long as it's good for my health and my skin I'm gonna do it and you can do whatever you want to do with your body but I'm not trying to body shame anybody tell people that they are not confident in your body so they should go get something done this is my story and this is what will make me happy and it really made me happy so I'm glad I did it and I'm more confident in my skin this stuff has been like over covering my confidence and even doing stuff i can't even put makeup on there i know every girl is obsessed with makeup trying to try different stuff and when you put makeup you get this blackhead shooting out of your skin and after doing this i feel more good in my skin i don't even wear makeup most of my 100 percent of my videos are not makeup i just come there with my natural face and i know there's still 
people criticize and i had a comment someone saying negotiate the metallurgy you don't know my situation so you cannot talk for me so whatever anybody's opinion is is their opinion whatever you think is good for you do it and feel happy about yourself and this is about women empowerment if you think you have a voice you have the power you have the ability to do something to make you feel proud of yourself or feel confident in whatever situation you are just go for it and i am really happy that i'm in this position and i have people following me and i'm telling you this if you feel less confident about something that can be fixed and it's not going to be harmful to your body i advise you 100 percent that you can go ahead and make yourself happy i did this so i can feel confident in my skin and i am 100 percent confident in my skin and i know acne is a slow process treatment and i'm not rushing it and i'm trying to be more proud of the skin i have now now with the blackheads gone a little bit i still have blackheads on my face i didn't remove everything i wanted to see how this procedure went bef before i go back and remove the rest of my face i still have a ton on my face but they're not that much noticeable like this one that i just removed so i am really happy and at this point my surgery was done my laser surgery was done and the nurse was wiping up my face and i think she put extra cream to help with the blow up my face was times two when i was done and after I was done, I went all the way to Burlington and people kept staring at me like, you don't know how your face look. <laughs> like people kept staring at me in the store, but I didn't care. And I had my baby with me. <laughs> I went to the appointment with my toddler because I had to, he couldn't go to school and his dad had to work. So I had to go with him. And after we were done, I had to go grab a couple of stuff from Burlington and I brought him there. And my face was like blow up. People might think that probably this lady took this kid. It's not her kid. <laughs> She's trying to sneak him in this stuff. <laughs> like, it was crazy. My face was like, I don't know. I can't, I don't even, you can see from this at the end, my whole cheek is like I had a cheek implant or something. <laughs> my whole cheek to my side of my face, side of my head was blown up. And that was the same thing on the other side. I couldn't take pictures because it was so bad and I didn't want to. But after the next day, my face calmed down, got used to whatever I did to my face. So I'm really glad I did this. And if you have any comment about your skin or anything, just leave a comment so we can chit chat underneath the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our family channel and i have my own personal channel not just life and you can go subscribe to that and hit the notification icon so when i post a video you'll be the first person to see i love you guys so much